Hi traders, Boeing started with a 2% gap down. Now it's coming up and it's taking out the buyers. It's great because now I expect it to come down. Main reason I expect it to come down is because airlines are coming down. So I'm watching the airlines. They are all coming down right now. Boeing's moving higher. And I expect some sort of a gap and go, although usually when you get a gap and go, that would be over 3%. And this one only started 2% down. So somewhere under 211, I would like to short it because I expect it to fail. And again, I'm watching the airlines and they're coming down right now and Boeing should do the same. So I just want to make sure it's not just spiking down. If it's going to come down under 211, which it just did. Well, maybe I've missed my entry. If it's going to move up a bit. Okay, about to short it. Shorting now. I got it just 22 cents under 211. So it still looks fine. Stops going to be around two points, no more than 213. Boeing's doing good. My target is 209, and it's really, really close as you can see here, just uh, 60 cents or so. However, what's going on? Oh, goodness, my platform is out. My platform is out. My platform is stuck. Well, that's something you don't want to go through, especially when you've got 4,000 shares in Boeing. That does not look good. Uh, I have no idea what I should do now. Just wait a few more seconds and see if it comes up. But I am out. I mean, that's 4,000 shares in Boeing. Everything could happen. It was the cents away from my target, which was two points. Again, two point stop loss, two point target, but I'm stuck. Well, I just found um, a way to get over this. I opened my old platform, which you may remember from my very old videos, and I'm going to go long if it moves over 205. I'm going to go long. It's the same account, so I'm kind of hedging now my trade in Boeing. If it moves over 205, I'll buy 4,000 shares. It's the same account, so it should affect the same trading account, meaning I'll be losing in one and gaining in the other. Here we go over 205 and I'm long. So I'm long Boeing now. <laughs> and that's, that's going to be interesting. Well, if I'm going to make money here, that's actually going to cover whatever I lose on the other account because now the stock is moving higher. Uh, well, let's see what happens now. Just hedged my trade. So finally, my platform is back and no damage done because as you can see, Boeing did not move higher. I just managed to close my trade in my other platform at a few hundred dollars loss. And I'm back on this platform as if nothing happened. Shaking, but I'm back. I like to go long Tesla over $1,000. As you can see, it's consolidating near the highs. It actually moved earlier over $1,000. I'm going to go long if it moves over $1,000. And... Um, um, I did not yet take my partial in Boeing. It's still holding there. 2,000 shares. Now just moved. I'm long. Did not get a great feel. 1,002. Tesla did highs. It's looking good. My target is 1,006. Looking for four points there. It's getting there. Look at the buyers here just moving close to 1006 now over six good great if it comes down under six i'm going to take my partial it just did it's holding it's coming down a bit more no took my partial here well a little bit less than i anticipated but uh anyway tesla moved nicely over the 1000 took a relatively small winner but a nice trade anyway and Boeing now, without a partial, getting close to the lows and now touched under the lows. Boeing is looking great. Well, you know, traders, um, this is amazing. Look at that. I'm up $34,000. I did lose a few hundred dollars, um, actually more than, more than that, a bit more than $1,000 on the other platform. But look at what's going on here. My target was two points and I'm approaching the 10 point mark now. Now, sometimes when you when you have a platform malfunction, <laughs> it, uh, it's actually a benefit. As you can see here, it's a huge benefit. But you know what? On the long run, when you've got uh, several 
platform mail functions and believe me it's gonna happen to you here comes 10 points and more then sometimes you lose sometimes you make money and the average <laughs> is actually zero but I did get uh, quite a lot of profit from this mail function as you can see now it's getting down and at any sign of a pullback now I'm gonna cover because that's just absolutely huge here comes Boeing took my partial wow that was a roller coaster not a roller coaster in Boeing because really Boeing just came down done really did nothing wrong an emotional roller coaster because I was at the point where I just didn't know what I'm supposed to be doing and then I came out with this hedging I did with the other platform now look at the result here $43,000 another $1,000 open here I've got Tesla with a nice winner uh, Boeing with just an amazing winner and the end result is absolutely amazing but remember system mail functions that's going to happen to you be ready be ready mentally and uh, sometimes you're going to make money sometimes you're going to lose all the best thank you for watching thank you for watching our video before you go we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004 and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities click here to start your free trial if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.